The conflict between Iran and Israel escalated Tuesday when Iran fired missiles, forcing Israelis to take cover in bomb shelters. I received a video of my five-week-old niece in a bomb shelter. Um, and it's, it's horrifying. Rabbi Dan Horwitz got a message from his sister in Israel with her husband and their five-week-old child. They took cover when the bomb sirens went off. Video shows the sky lit up with these missiles. The Associated Press says the Israeli military intercepted many of them. Thomas Schwartz is a professor of history at Vanderbilt, and he says Israel plans to retaliate. I think there is at least a chance, 50-50, maybe higher, that Israel will use this opportunity now of retaliating to attack Iran's nuclear facilities. It also might use this opportunity to attack Iran's oil uh, production. Almost a year after the October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel, this conflict continues with the most recent attacks. Palestine and Israel have not come to an agreement on a two-state solution. And since the October 7th attack, Israeli forces have launched thousands of airstrikes along the Gaza Strip. And so there is the possibility of uh, what is a full-scale regional war between Iran and Israel. Schwartz says the United States' involvement in a war may not directly involve U.S. troops. War. I would argue that we are automatically in a war when one of our allies is under such threat. We're going to be involved. I think on the whole, we will not have any sort of troops on the ground or any sort of direct uh, uh, situation for American soldiers. Horwitz continues to people. check in, fearful for his family. It's just been constant yeah. texting, WhatsApping, chatting, whatever it is, checking in. Are you okay? What do you need? Kim Rafferty, News Channel 5.